Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video. Today we are gonna be doing a makeup tutorial using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. I have all four palettes here today. So what I wanna do is kinda of focus on using two eyeshadow palettes, basically the ones that I put out on Twitter and Instagram stories to see which ones you guys wanted me to film with. I'm gonna be filming with two of those. Before I get into the tutorial or anything like that, get down to the discount codes, get down to when the product's available, the prices. I just wanna say to you guys, I cannot thank you enough for all of the love and the sweet messages about my little baby boy, Mo. He is doing absolutely amazing, like better than amazing, actually. Like almost too good. He's like a little puppy now that all his organs are in the right spot my poor baby boy but I just want to say how grateful I am for all of the comments and the tweets and the direct messages it just means the absolute world to me so thank you guys so much for all of the love and support on that and thank you for understanding me being a little bit MIA during this whole process I'm I'm just so grateful I feel like I have the best followers ever you guys are always so sweet to me and just so sweet to one another and that just makes me beyond happy so thank you guys for that. So I believe these eyeshadow palettes come out today, the 14th, by the time I'm, you know, editing and uploading this video. So each eyeshadow palette, I believe, is $15 each. And you can use my discount code NICOL in all caps at checkout in stores or online for Morphe brushes and that'll get you 10% off. It gives me a little bit of a commission, so it's a win-win for both of us, if you know what I'm saying. So each palette includes a mirror in it. The mirror is a pretty good size for the palette, you know what I mean? And again, each palette is $15, or you could buy all four of them in a vault for $49. So I actually went ahead and did some swatching on my Instagram stories for you guys, so I'm just gonna insert photos of those right now because I want to save some time. My last video when I was watching all of the Kylie things, you guys were telling me that it took way too long and that you don't really care too much about swatches and if I don't like doing them, don't worry about it. So I'm taking your advice and I'm not going to do it. So yeah, I will go ahead and show you every palette and what my initial thoughts were for the palettes when I had them. So this first one is called Bling Boss and the way that this is is like it's a, a mini palette I would say and it has the name of the palette on the top here it says bling boss and this is what's inside and I really like right away that the names are inside here you guys know that's something that I constantly bitch about like for reals like for me honestly I don't understand why people would name eyeshadows if the eyeshadows aren't on the front of the palette like I don't know I always have a really hard time even if it's plastered on the back like Kylie's was and I'm just I'm just using that as a comparison because that is the last eyeshadow palette that I reviewed but I'm so beyond happy that this is like that right off the bat this is and was one of my favorite palettes that I swatched just based off of the consistency See how well they swatched and just the color scheme. I think that this is a very pretty color palette, especially now that we're getting, unfortunately, summer's coming to an end and not in California though. <laughs> but this is really pretty fall colors and really pretty like, I don't know, I feel like you can really dress this up and play with this for all different types of looks and just stuff like that in general. Then the next palette we have is Armed and Gorgeous. This one is also a favorite of mine just based off of this green color right here. I really liked this green color and some of the transition shades I thought were beautiful and this shade right here called Coin was very, very, very pigmented. Almost felt like a foiled shadow to me when I was swatching it. So I really do like this palette based off of the swatching. I Like I said, I've never used any of these palettes on my eyes. So just based off the, the swatching and the color schemes of it all, I did really like. The next one we have is Dark Magic. This one is more of a cool tone, kind of green vibe we got going on here. To me, I feel like this palette stands out the most because of the unique like shades that were put together, like more of a cool tone palette, especially from Jaclyn. Like she is a warm tone queen, okay? And for her to like have a palette like this, I feel like is really cool, like definitely outside of her comfort zone. And I think a lot of our comfort zones
And then the last palette is this one called Ring the Alarm. Now this one I was kind of like eh about to be completely honest just because I have so many palettes like this already with this exact color scheme. But you know, there wasn't anything wrong with it per se. I just, when I opened it was kind of like, oh, all right, I've seen this before kind of vibe. So what I really want to do is kind of focus on this palette, which is Bling Boss and the Dark Magic one. I really wanna focus on these two, strictly because I know everybody has been using the other two palettes when they have been doing tutorials or reviews, and also just trying myself to get out of my own comfort zone, and these two were my favorites when I swatched them, and when I looked at them, I felt like they were the most interesting, <laughs> not to pull a Kim K, but I felt like they were the most interesting to look at. They just excited me, so I wanna go ahead and use these two. Now, I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna do this. I may like eventually wipe off my makeup and do another look because if I'm looking at it, it might be hard to try to use both palettes just seeming that they're like kind of opposite colors, but I really wanna try my best to incorporate both of them. And then if you guys do like this tutorial or video, then in the future, I can totally create more looks using the palettes. I just think for right now, since this is gonna be like already a long ass video, I'm not gonna try to do four different looks with the four palettes. I just feel like that's kind of a lot for one video. So I'm already prepped and primed, got all my makeup on already, my face makeup. Gotta blend out my nose contour a little bit more. I always feel like it gets so harsh up here and I never can see it until I'm on camera. So yeah, let's just get right on into this. I'm really excited. Again, these two are my favorites, so let's go. So first I'm going to be going in with the shade right here, Hush Hush, and I'm going to be using that as a transition shade. This is kind of like a cool tone beige. I don't even know what to call it, but it's a cool tone beige. And then I'm just plopping it in the crease, like so. It is very, very weird for me to use like cool tones. Honestly, like this is very, very different and out of my comfort zone. I know I literally keep reiterating that, but you know, if I look kind of skeptical, it's because I'm not comfortable with cool tones. That's my own problem. So the next shade I wanna go into is going to be Busted right here, which is a blue shade. This is from the Dark Magic palette, and I'm using my Morphe M433 brush. And I'm gonna be very, 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 very careful with this shade since it is very dark and I don't really have a mediator in between. So I'm going to be very careful and just kind of focus it on the outer parts of the eye and in the crease. And then I'm probably gonna switch over to a brush that doesn't have any additional product on it just to like further blend it out and stuff. For the most part, this is what we're doing. We're taking it very, very slow. I look like a crazy person right now. Kind of feathering out the edges. And then I'm going in with my Morphe M514 and I'm just, there's no additional product on this and I'm just gonna use this to feather out the edges that we got going on here. So that looks 100% better when you blend it out like that. Sorry guys, sweating like a pig, what else is new? So then I'm just gonna do the same exact thing to the other eye. It's just so scary for me to work with like colors like this. I don't know why or how to even explain it. And I know a lot of you guys will probably think I'm nuts and crazy. It's just harder for me to work with colors like this. And then again, going in with that additional brush with no product on it and feathering out the edges. And then I'm gonna do this a couple more times to build up the intensity on the pigment. I don't want it to be ridiculous because I do wanna make sure it's not too, too dark. I don't wanna look like a raccoon eye. But I will say you definitely do have to go over the shadow a couple of times, which to me, doesn't really bother me. I know some people are like the pigment police and need it to be full pigment right off the bat. I'm not that kind of a person, to be completely honest with you, but just letting you know. Alrighty-roo, you guys. 
now I'm gonna go into the Bling Boss palette. I'm like retracting my steps because I keep forgetting everything I'm using. But I'm gonna go into the shade Rockstar right here. And this is more of like a plummy shade. And basically what I'm gonna do is smoke this in the crease as well. And I'm curious to see how these two colors mix together because I have like this vision, but it could totally go south. So hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> Ugh, pray for me. And again, I'm using my Morphe M514 brush. And just so you guys know, there's not a lot of fallout on the palette. Just letting you know. In and start to blend. Ooh, that does look pretty. That is exactly what I wanted it to look like, actually. Okay, I'm really, really happy now. I was a little scared. I was a little scared. I'm using very dark colors, and I already have my base on, so this is a little risky business here. So I'm just going in and... Yep. Blending and feathering it out. And I wanted these two colors to kind of blend together to get that deeper violet kind of look. And I'll explain why in a second. I'm just gonna go in with this like really fluffy brush. This is the R40 from Morphe. And I'm gonna go in and feather out the edges of this look so that it's not too, too harsh. And get the outer edges as well. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted it to do, so I'm really happy about that. I had a feeling mixing the two would work out, but you never know. So I'm just gonna continue to add some more of the color to it, but I am pretty happy with the way that this is looking so far. And it is blending very nicely compared to the other palettes. This, you could totally tell a difference in my opinion. Okay, I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other side and be right back for y'all, but I am really liking the way that this is blending. And just so you guys know, I'm looking at my monitor right now. It is taking me two minutes and 41 seconds to blend this out, which is not that bad. I have sat here before and used other palettes that has taken me like 11 minutes to blend out one color and that's when you know it's not a good good palette or good problem to have so yeah I'm impressed with the blending especially with dark shades like this one okay I know it looks absolutely nuts right now but it's gonna come together I'm using my Morphe M224 and I'm using a little bit of Mac fix plus and now I'm gonna go into the shade gem and this shade actually caught my eye as like one of the like star pieces of the show if you will and I knew right away I wanted to create a look definitely around this color so I'm going to pop it on oh so pretty I love a good purple eye and I'm kind of gonna create a little bit of a cut crease here but I'm gonna show you guys what else I'm gonna do to it like obviously to jazz it up a bit this is a really pretty eyeshadow color I really love me some purpley blue hues that looks so so pretty. But you see how it kind of like comes together, you guys, once you add that lid color? Like, I look at this. This looks like a freaking lunatic mess. But once you add that lid color, it's like, bam, a different person. So don't get discouraged, you know what I mean? I know it's like so easy to get discouraged and think like, oh my God, why does it look like that? Like, wait until the final product. Like, wait until you're done with it and then do some fine tuning. That's like one of my biggest things is like, sometimes I'm, I'm like way too hard on myself sometimes. I'm my own biggest critic and I don't want you guys to have to be like that, you know? So learn from my mistakes. Do as I say, not as I do. So now you can go in and make your fine tuning, you know, if you know what I mean, like, Go in here and kind of feather out the edges a bit. And if you do get some powder on your face, I'm gonna teach you a little bit of a trick here. Take a big fluffy brush, and what you wanna do is tap it in some translucent powder and then kind of lay it on the area and then dust it away. That is like the only successful way you'll be able to get rid of any fallout that has happened on your face. I honestly don't see very much, if any at all. I'm just doing this as a precautionary measure because you never know later on if I go in and want to add more highlight then I got purple highlight all over my face so now what I want to do is take the shade ballsy and apply it on my finger and kind of go into the center here and tap it in the center and then we're gonna blend it out obviously but I want to do something like this I feel like this could look really really pretty something along the lines like this and I'm actually gonna go in with a dense packing brush. This is from Joseph Colors. I don't know the exact brush name. As you can see, everything is kind of like spilled off of it. So I'm gonna just go in and tap this on like so in the center. 
All right, you guys. So I popped on some lashes and liner here, and I feel like I'm really, really liking the look. So what I want to continue to do is the lower lash line. So basically, I'm just going to use the Bling Boss for this look, if I can find it. And I'm basically just going to smoke it out, smoke out that lower lash line. And I'm going to go in with the shade Gem to do so. And I'm just going to go in smoke it out like that and make really really ugly faces while doing it <laughs> and then I'm gonna add the NARS Climax mascara this is a new mascara I'm testing out see how she does Ooh, looks pretty nice on the bottom lashes yeah I can get behind this not too bad and then what I want to do for this look I kind of want to take either the shade coin or guilt trip and add that on the inner corners and the brush I'm using to do so is the Morphe E36. And let's see, is this gonna be too? Oh no, that's kinda cool. Let's just go big or go home, shall we? Ooh, that is pretty. Hmm, what should I wear for a lip? Some type of nude, obviously. All right, so I popped on the Nova lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics. This is a matte lipstick, so it kinda dries down a little bit. But for the most part, I do really like the way that this look came out. I definitely haven't used purple on my channel in a while, so I'm excited to do so. So yeah, again, you guys, if I had to reiterate, my favorite of the whole collection, like if I had to pick, would be Dark Magic, which is this eyeshadow palette right here. I also do really like Armed and Gorgeous, even though it is like, you know, an everyday warm tone palette. I do think that this is a really pretty palette. I really like the two golds that are included in there. And I would say my favorite out of the entire collection is Bling Boss, which is this purpley kind of palette. So I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Again, each palette is $15 each, and you can use my discount code. They are available today on morphebrushes.com. I think they'll be available, available in stores. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I know a lot of you guys wanted me to do a makeup look using the palette, so I hope that you like this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and again, thank you for all the well wishes from Mo. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. Bye!